What's up guys, Josh Profits here. Um, <clears throat> back with another video. It ha it's been a little while since I post my last video and I've just been extremely busy running my business and there's been a lot of stuff going on. I've been buying property, um, just a lot of crazy stuff. But anyways guys, I have been seeing your comments. I've been responding to your comments. Uh, there's been a lot of people that have wanted me to post more about uh, Amazon. So this is me posting more about it. I'm actually recording two videos today. This one here is specifically about Keepa and um, just a tutorial on how to actually use Keepa because Keepa is a very powerful tool um, for running your Amazon business, whether it's FBA, uh, Merchant Fulfilled, whether you're doing wholesale, private label, retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, it doesn't matter what business model, Keepa is extremely important. And I'm going to teach you guys today on how to use Keepa. Uh, before we get started, guys, I'm just going to let you know that Keepa used to be a free tool. It's no longer a free tool. It costs 15 euros a month. So whatever that converts into for you Americans or Canadians, I'm Canadian, so I think it converts into about $22 a month. I do pay for Keepa monthly, and I think it's an extremely valuable tool. If they charged me $200 a month, I would still pay for this service. Um, hopefully, they don't hear that because I obviously don't want to pay anything a month, especially $200, but that is how much I value this tool, guys. Um, this video, like I said, is going to be an introduction on how to use Keepa. And then I'm going to post another video on how I use Keepa to uh, verify my products on, you know, how much I'm going to purchase, if I'm going to purchase competition, everything. I'll dive really deep into it. So <clears throat> before we get started, guys, smash that like button, please. And leave a comment below if you are using Keepa um, currently or if you plan on using it. And guys, I will have a link in the description below, which is actually an affiliate link um, for Keepa. So I think I get 10 cents for every single person that uses my link to sign up for Keepa. So not much, but you know, I really appreciate it if you guys got content from this channel. Okay, here we go, guys. I picked a random product here. Uh, this product here, I'm actually looking at purchasing for myself because I need another wireless mouse. So when you download Keepa, guys, it is a Google Chrome extension. Now, when you download it and it's in your, uh, your bar of, at the top of your screen, you don't need to do anything. It is actually a plugin that gets shown on every single Amazon listing page that you have. So this is what the Amazon page will look like, just like a normal regular page. And then when you scroll down, guys, Okay, so when you scroll down, guys, this is what you're gonna see on your page. This is, uh, it looks super confusing. It looks like you're some sort of like stock trader analysis uh, type person or something, like a stock trader. Um, but this is, I'm gonna explain everything to you guys. So follow along with my mouse. <clears throat> so this is, this chart here on the left uh, side of the chart that I'm circling is the price. So at the bottom, it starts at zero. It goes all the way up to 25 bucks, uh, depending on how expensive the product is that you're looking at. Um, but for this specific one, zero to 25. Now along the bottom here is the date, uh, the time frame that you're looking at. And then on the right-hand side, this is what we call the sales rank of the product. Now, the lower the sales rank, so closer to zero, the better. That means that the more sales are taking place, the more that the item is selling. And the higher the sales rank means the slower the item is selling uh, at that time. So what we can do is when you hover over this chart, it will, wherever you put your cursor, it will actually give you information on that specific day. So if you look at the very bottom of the chart down here, guys, it's actually telling you Thursday, January 4th at 1.45 p.m. or whatever during the day and then if you move it it'll tell you throughout the day and then every single day that you you can go on so you can literally see data from every single day week month three months year and the all time and where you see that guys is on the right hand side here see this so if I click on day 
This is all the data that it will show you that is collected in the last day, today. The last week, the last month, the last three months, year, and all time. 1,386 1, days of data that they've compiled here. So when you zoom out like this on a much longer time frame, it looks crazy. But what I'm, I'm going to break this down very simple for you guys so it's not so confusing. I learned how to use this tool by myself and it took a very long time and now I'm a master at using this tool. Um, okay, so what we're going to do to make it simple, guys, is I'm going to zoom in to the three-month time frame. So it starts here at December 16th or sorry, December 14th, 13th, if I put my cursor, and goes all the way up till today. So that's the last three months. Now, another thing I'm going to tell you guys or show you guys is over here, this here, when you are who is, is giving you data on who has sold the product. So if I hover over Amazon, it highlights an orange bar. See this? It highlights the orange bar over the graph. And what this means, it says down here in the little pop-up, sold and fulfilled by Amazon. If there are any gaps in that line, it means that there that was a period of time that Amazon did not sell the product, which means they were out of stock. Okay, so the, the orange line is solid. That means that Amazon has stayed in stock for the last three months the entire time. There's no gaps in the orange line. They have remained in stock the whole time. Now, what you can see about the orange line is that it's actually gone up and down a couple times. And what that means is if we look over on the left-hand side of the, the screen here, it going up and down means that it has actually changed price. So what happens if we follow our cursor, you see here that it, if you look at my cursor, it has a little Amazon box and it says $15.95. That means that at that time, that day on December, Friday, December the 14th, Amazon was in stock and they were currently selling the product at $15.95 per item. So if I move it over to the right, look at this guys, it dropped in price. So on, Dece on Wednesday, December 19th, Amazon dropped their price to $11.99. Now let's continue to move our cursor over because it looks like the orange line climbs up guys. Look at this, it climbs up to 17, 18, 22, 23, 98. So at this point, at this, in December, near the end of December, guys, Amazon was selling this item for 23, 98. That's double what they were selling it for just three days prior. So they jacked their price up to double. <clears throat> now, if, if we continue our cursor over, we see that they dropped it down here during this time frame to 2307, 2106, and then back down to 1199 for a long period of time. Majority of this time that you can see here, guys, in the last three months, they've sold this product for 1199. So, what does this mean, guys? This means that we can see exactly what Amazon has done in the past regarding their prices. Now, that is just the first little option here that I've shown you guys is Amazon. If you can actually toggle this on and off. So watch this, if I toggle it off, it takes Amazon's data away from the chart and we no longer see what Amazon was doing. So now, the second thing we have here is new. Now what this means is if you look at the bottom, the pop-up, it says the lowest new price by a third party seller on Amazon, shipping not included. So, exactly what it says guys, this is a third party seller. This is people like myself and like you, if you're getting into selling on Amazon. You're not Amazon, you're a third party seller. So, by looking at this blue line now, we can see what third party sellers, uh, their price history was over the last three months. And so I'm not going to go too far into detail here, guys, but you could follow the blue line and you could see, okay, this is what the new sellers did over the last three months and what they did on certain dates at certain times, etc. Now we can go a step further and take off the new and the black line, guys, is people trying to sell new or sorry, used products. And the, the same concept applies for Amazon and new. 
you can see that the price has gone up and down. But here's a good example for you guys because look, the line is not a solid line going across. So what does that mean, guys? If it's not a solid line going across and there's gaps in the line, that means that the product was out of stock. So there wasn't always used products in stock for this item for the entire three months. It was kind of spotty. It was just in and out, in and out. Okay, that's good to know. Now, guys, we have arguably one of the most important uh, indicators or uh, pieces of data on this graph. It's called the sales rank. I use the sales rank um, the most out of everything, but you actually need to learn how to read all of these things and then be able to form them together to make a well-educated form decision. So you can't just look at one thing, but you have need to look at all of them and put it together. So it's important that you really take your time and listen to <clears throat> and listen to my explanation of everything here, guys. Sorry, let me grab some water. My throat's hurt and I've been talking all day. Okay, so the sales rank. Like I said to you guys at the beginning of the video, the closer the sales rank is to zero, the more the item is selling. The further it, away it is from zero, on the right-hand side of the chart here, you'll see it goes up and down. The closer it is to zero, the more it sells. The, close, the further away it is, the less it sells. So we can see over the last thir three months that the sales rank has changed dramatically, guys. It's, it's gone from being so low, like 31, like under 50, and then shooting up all the way to, let me see here, guys, all the way up to like basically 500 up here. Because we can see over here it's 500 in the top right-hand corner, all the way up to 500. Now, what does that tell you? Like I said, that means that it was selling a lot less when it was up in the 500 sales rank than it was when it was all the way down in the number two and number one and number three sales rank down here. So if we, if we go back, guys, to the right-hand side of this chart and we toggle back on all the data, right, we can ask ourselves why at, at some times was the price or was the sales rank super low and selling the best ever? And why did it shoot all the way up to 500? Well, it's very clear here, guys, that when the sales rank shot up to 500, look what happened to the price. Amazon also brought their price all the way up to $23. So we can see here that when Amazon brought their price up to an, uh, an, a less desired price, less people stopped buying it. But what happened when they brought the price back down to their usual price? And you can see here, guys, is that when they brought it back down to $11.99, everybody started buying the product again. And then the sales rank went closer to zero. So we can clearly see that price affects sales rank. The more desired the price is, the better the sales rank because people are buying it. The less desired the price is, meaning the higher it goes, less people want to buy it and they're buying other things or they're waiting to buy it because they think that the price is going to drop again. And that means that the sales rank goes up and then less people buy that product. So <clears throat> in a nutshell, guys, that is exactly how to read this graph, how to use the options on the right hand side of the screen where you can toggle all these on and off and also how to change the time frames. And I showed you guys that at the beginning of the video. So this was just data from the last three months that we just analyzed and that was collected. We could also change it to the year and see what they did over time over the last year and then the all time. It's a lot easier to look at a shorter time frame, but I always end up zooming out and looking at longer time frames so I can get a better picture or a better idea at what exactly I'm looking at because things can change so drastically from product to product. For example, an electronic could, or a book or something could come out and it's very hot at the beginning, so it's, it, the sales rank goes really low and tons of people are buying it. 
but over time new models come out or new versions of that product come out that are better and more improved and then less people start stop buying the older stuff and then more people start buying the newer stuff which means that the newer product is going to take over and the older product is now the sales rank is going to go up 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 and less people are going to be buying that so that's why you always want to zoom out and see hey how has this product been performing over time and how is it performing right now? These are things that I think about when I'm looking at the Keepa chart. Now, this is a perfect segue, guys, because if you come down right below this chart and there is something, this little toggle or this little pop up here, if you hover your mouse over statistic, it will pop, open up a chart for you. Now, I can't move my cursor or it will. Um, it will t the pop-up will come off so just follow along with me but I also use this pop-up and what this does is instead of looking at the chart and trying to decipher that data it will actually show you the data a lot quicker and easier here for certain things so on the left hand side it, there's an Amazon column which is orange once again they the color you gotta the color coding makes everything very simple and easy once you get the hang of it but it's orange. So it says here that Amazon, the lowest price that they ever had on this item was $9.99. And that was on November 26, 2016. That's great uh, data to have, guys. We know that the lowest price that Amazon is willing to go or has gone on this product. And we know how long ago it was. We can see that their current price is $11.99. And that price changed. or Sorry, it's $11.99 as of 12 hours ago, which is really good. Good data as well. The highest price was $23.98, which was on December 21st, 2018. That's when I showed you guys when the sales rank climbed up pretty high. And the average price over the last 90 days is $14.62. And then the average price over the last 180 days is $13.87. And then in the last month, there has been three price adjustments, three price drops. So what I typically do guys is after I look at the chart and I look at, I zoom out and look at the longer time frame, I will come into this pop-up and I'll see what's the average price over the last 90 days and the average price over the last 180 days, because that will give me an idea on where I see kind of Amazon at. And then of course I take a look at where they're selling it now and I can use this data to gauge or yeah to gauge how much i'm willing to pay for a product or if it's worth me buying a product because sometimes let's say we came to this um to this page and we saw that amazon was selling it for 23.98 the highest price and we were like oh this is amazing because you're at walmart right now or you're looking online and you see that you can buy this mouse from somewhere else and this mouse is only 9.99 somewhere else that means that you'd be able to buy this product send it into amazon and be able to make a great profit well don't this is where a lot of people get screwed guys because let's say you did that and sent it in or started selling it on amazon all of a sudden amazon would drop the price because they're just temporarily selling it at that price they're not the over over the long term, over the last 180 days or 190 days, their price is half of that, significantly uh, lower, which means that I would not buy this product in that specific scenario. Um, and then as you guys can see, I, I won't go into detail naming all the numbers, but it gives you all the stats for the new, all the stats for the used, and then it gives you all the stats for the sales rank. Now, one more thing I'm going to go into, guys, about Keepa which is really good for buying because a lot of people will buy things from Amazon to resell back on Amazon. So for example, they'll buy something from amazon.ca and then sell it on amazon.com or sell it, buy it on .com and sell it on .ca, vice versa and, and many different platforms. So what you guys can do is there's a tool here called community tracking. And what this is, is if you click into this, you can actually track the prices and tell Amazon or sorry, tell Keepa to send you an email notification when that product reaches a certain price. So let's say you were buying it to, to resell to flip or even for personal use, you could say, 
The mouse right now is $23, but I see that it, draw, it usually sells at $11.99. Please send me an no, email notification when the price gets back down to $11.99 and then I'm going to buy that product instead of wasting your money and buying it right now and paying double the price. So that tool alone is very valuable, especially if you're buying stuff online. It's incredible. And, and just to touch on that, guys, you can use Keepa not just for reselling. You could use this for buying your own personal items. Notify, like I just said, notify me when the price gets to this point and you can save a bunch of money. So just to touch on it one more time, guys, I do have an affiliate link down in the description box below. Um, if you guys click on that and decide to sign up for Keepa, I do get a 10 cent commission. Um, not out of you guys, like it's not coming out of your pocket, but Keepa will pay me 10 cents commission every time somebody signs up for this. So I'd really appreciate if you guys are going to consider using Keepa to use my link below. If not, no big deal. At least do me one favor, guys, and hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me, guys. And I'm uh, really going to try to put out as many videos as possible for you, teaching you more about the Amazon FBA business. Now, one last thing, guys, I want to mention because there was a huge positive feedback from all my other videos, and I wanted to save this for the end of the video, is I'm still running the, the giveaway. And what the giveaway is, is every video that I post, all you guys have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below and like the video and I will pick one random person from the comment section below that has liked the video and left a comment and you guys will have a, th a free 30 minute consultation call with me. Anything to do with Amazon or e-commerce related. Anything. It can be eBay, Amazon, whatever it is guys through wholesale, private label, whatever I can help you with, I will give you a free 30 minutes of my time to ask me any questions you want. Just leave a comment down below, guys, and like the video. If you guys have any other suggestions on things you guys want to see or things that I missed out on, please leave it also down in the comment section below. I answer every single comment, guys, and I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Till next time, guys. Peace.